The opinions expressed in this show are the views of the host and not necessarily that of WTRW, 94.3 The Talker, or the Bold Gold Media Group. The following presentation is brought to you by the host of the program who is solely responsible for its content. Good afternoon and welcome to Make a Change. I'm your host, Terry Martin, along with my producer, Tom Jenkins. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Rob Crane is our guest today, and I've been looking forward to today's show because I know nothing about the subject of baseball. But I do know it's time for our families to start having a good time. And Tom, I met Rob at a Lions Club meeting where he was giving a talk about the Rail Riders. And I was so impressed because he said if anyone asked him to come anywhere and talk about the Rail Riders that he would come because he's just so full of enthusiasm. So I called and asked his secretary to please give him a message that I would like to have him come on my show and make a change. And I told her it was because I want to have people come on my show who could help our family start doing fun things together again as a family unit. And what is better than a good old baseball game? So I was totally surprised when his secretary called back and he said yes. And here is Rob Crane keeping his word, and I'm thrilled to have him on the show today. So, Rob, please tell us about Rob Crane <laughs> before we even start to talk about the Rail Riders. Well, Terry, Tom, thank you very much for uh, for having me on. I, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to come on. I always call it preaching the gospel of the Rail Riders, so uh, I'm happy to do that wherever, whenever, however uh, we are. So uh, very anxious to, to be on your show. Well, I was looking at the website, the Rail Riders website, and I had no idea what I was about to see because lo and behold, here Rob was standing out in the field in shorts and goggles and yeah. flippers for like, <laughs> like as if he was scuba diving. And I'm looking at it, but the best part was it was snowing all around him. It was a blizzard. <laughs> well, I, you know, to even put that commercial together, which I thought was fantastic, but it said it was, uh, tell us about the 60 degree guarantee. Yeah. But how did you know, or, you know, to get out there and even know that the snow was even going to be coming to pull that all together, <laughs> you know? Well, like- we just, uh, so it started last year when uh, I made a guarantee that it was going to be 60 degrees. Going into the 2013 season, I had the same orange shorts on and uh, everything. I guaranteed that it was going to be 60 last year. So uh, this year came up and we had the worst winter ever. It was snowing and freezing and it felt like it was never going to end. So we needed to do it again because at some point someone's got to start thinking spring. And uh, I got the Little Mermaid uh, life vest and uh, my goggles and snorkel and I had flippers and my orange flowered shorts and uh, got out there and started squawking about, uh, you know, guaranteeing that it was going to be 60 degrees again. And you know what? Lo and behold, it was 60 degrees on opening day. Oh, that is wonderful. Huh. Because it's my... like I predicted it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Everyone was so, uh, they, they said, oh, I can't believe it was 60 degrees. It's like, why are you Why are you surprised? They guaranteed it. <laughs> well, you put a lot of meteorologists out of business. Uh, yeah, see, there you go. I get it right occasionally. <laughs> well, that was wonderful because my next question after that was, you know, did you have to give any free tickets? Uh, however, I did get ahead of myself because... I was so taken back by that commercial. So I'll let you go back to who you are and why you're here. Well, who I am um, is I'm the president and GM of the Rail Riders. Uh, I guess uh, how I got started into the minor league baseball business was uh, I was a baseball player since I was the proverbial knee-high to a grasshopper. My mother was my first t-ball coach, and uh, I played baseball all the way through uh, college. I went to Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts, and uh, I played, and uh, it's just something that's in my blood, and uh, as soon as I got out of college, I, uh, I, I got a job with the now defunct Southwest Michigan Devil Rays. They moved to... Uh, uh, Midland, Michigan, and uh, I was starting there as a lowest of the low totem pole guy, uh, selling group tickets, and the group tickets cost three dollars a piece. <laughs> and uh-huh. uh, uh, after that, I moved to Omaha, Nebraska. After two years in Battle Creek, uh, moved to Omaha, Nebraska. Was in Omaha for six years, and uh, that's where kind of my career, you know, flourished, if you will. Uh, I became the assistant general manager uh, in Omaha. Had the opportunity to build a new ballpark 
uh, there and also rebrand a franchise. Uh, mm-hmm. Then the position in Scranton came available where they were looking to build a ballpark and rebrand a franchise. So uh, it worked out wonderfully. Uh, I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts. My wife, Amy, is originally from Connecticut. So to move from the middle of the country to uh, the East Coast and uh, very close to uh, friends and family was uh, was an opportunity that we just couldn't pass. So uh, we've been here since... I got here in July of 2012, and I uh, love every second of it. So is Amy like a baseball fan? She must be, too. We met in baseball. Oh. Uh, we went to the baseball winter meetings where it's uh, hunt, thousands of people go for the to meet about baseball, and uh, we were both job seekers. They have a big job fair at the baseball winter meetings. There's probably... Five or six hundred kids looking for jobs, and uh, we were part of that five or six hundred. That's where I got my job in Battle Creek, and uh, she was also looking for a job in baseball. And she went to the Potomac Nationals, which is the single A affiliate of the Washington Nationals, and I uh, got an internship there. And uh, so that weekend, I started my career and met my wife. So it was the uh, you know the the most productive weekend ever. Oh, <laughs> happy ever after. Yeah, happy ever after. Rob, there's twice when you were talking about your uh, your your history, your, your resume, if you will. You used the word rebranding. You used it twice, um, and you know people from northeastern Pennsylvania obviously know what you have done with the Rail Riders. You've yeah. definitely rebranded that whole thing, especially natives that have been here and watched it go through all of these different phases. Um, some of your ideas, flippers, goggles, <laughs> snow. They're they're out of the box. They're brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. I mean, it's just really creative. Oh. How do you come up with these? I mean, just, do you just sit around and brainstorm, or do they pop into your head when you're in the shower? Or where do these ideas come from? I drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do the ideas come from? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, you know, I've got a great staff, and uh, we meet collaboratively, and uh, we just start talking. And I think my job for what I do is you set the tone is what kind of ideas are good and what kind of ideas, uh, you know, cross the line or, you know, don't go in the direction you want to. And I think if we set the tone that we want fun, family-friendly, you know, outside of what normal people think, Mm -hmm. um, and if that's the tone, then that's the kind of ideas that you get. And all of a sudden, you're dressed in flippers and uh, out in a snowstorm. And, uh, you know, but that's also where ideas like every Wednesday, kids eat free. Uh, you know, th- those are the type of ideas that, that come. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a collaborative process. And uh, without a uh, collaborative staff, uh, none, of, none of that will happen. So team, more or yeah, less. Yeah, it's a, it's a team building thing is... In minor league baseball, you work a ridiculous amount of hours. I, I mean, there'll be there's times where we'll work a month or more straight without an off day, mm-hmm. and the people that we work with are the they're like your family, and if you don't have a strong team internally, that will then uh, expand, and you'll see that in. Uh, customer service and everything like that. So it's in very important for us to ensure that we've got a strong, I call it the family unit, okay. uh, inside our office. And uh, that, those create strong ideas. Those create people caring about the product, uh, caring about their uh, their fellow uh, coworkers. And uh, it just creates a, a good atmosphere and then leads to those ideas. So I think it's the foundation that we set. And then the ideas kind of are a byproduct of that. So you, you had the idea to more family-friendly fun. And in turn, what you did was you created a family internally to be able to externally get that goal. Family-friendly fun are probably my three favorite F words. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I had no idea what went on at that stadium because, like I say, I didn't know that much about baseball. But now I'm so excited because everyone should go online and see what there is to offer there. And what I didn't understand in the past, and I would really love you to explain now, is about the group outings, for example. Yeah, group outings. They're the best. So you get a group of 10 friends. Everyone's got 10 friends and uh, or family or coworkers or whoever, church goers. Uh, and you can come out. You get discounted tickets. There's different food options that you can have. You can get a 
private suite. You can sit right down on the uh, on the field, and uh, all that starts at eight dollars a person. And uh, you can come out and, and and do whatever that you want. And if uh, there's opportunities to throw out first pitches, there's opportunities to have all you can eat food. Uh, you know, one of the great things that we do as we talk about families is we offer an incredible birthday package. It's a hundred ninety five dollars for. Uh, for 10 people. Uh, kids all get a gift. The birthday celebrant gets a uh, gift. Birthday celebrant gets to throw out the ceremonial first pitch to a game. Oh, good. They get uh, uh, hot dogs, chips, soda, uh, an ice cream treat, uh, all included, plus their game ticket, plus all that extra stuff, plus free access uh, to our family fun zone out there in left center field. And uh, when you get ten of them, it's all for 195 bucks, under 20 bucks, or under 20 bucks a kid. It's the best value in town. So um, it's a lot of things like that. And we, this is all new to the folks in northeastern Pennsylvania. We just started this, uh, many of these things last year. So we are in the educational process of telling people, hey, have your 10, 11, 12 year old birthday party at the ballpark. We can take great care of them. All you got to do is show up, and that's it. Show up, have fun, leave, you and know, uh, we do it. For grandparents, relatives, mothers and fathers, like we're out of ideas of what to buy <laughs> our children. So do you sell something like a, a gift certificate? Maybe not the whole package for a party, but you just want to send maybe three or four, your, your daughter, your son, and then their children to the game. Do you have certificates they can buy online or anything and, and yeah, put we in got, the card? Yeah, we, we, we got gift certificates. We've got uh, great things. So you can get them. Uh, what's cool is we do this thing called loaded tickets, right? You buy four tickets to tomorrow's game. And you can, quote unquote, load their tickets with $10 or $20 or whatever you want of value. And they can take their ticket. Their ticket becomes the gift card. And they can take that ticket to any concession stand, our merchandise store, wherever, and it's got $20 loaded on there. You hand their, your ticket to the uh, person collecting money, they scan it, and if your total came to 15 bucks, eh, you got $5 left on it, and everything was, uh, everything was included. So uh, it, it's a pretty cool deal, and uh, you're able to do that no problem. We handle it. You can do it before you get to the ballpark. You can call us, and we'll do it. Uh, or uh, you can do it at the ballpark at our uh, University of Scranton Guest Services. You know, I'm trying to find ways for our families to come back together, like you said. And when my children say, what can I get you for Mother's Day or your birthday or Christmas? I always tell them anymore, memories. I want a good time. That's, that's, a, that's a wonderful thing is that you know, people are looking for experiences. Is... Uh, experiences as in they go out and they do something together they, they've created a memory like you said and those things matter so much more than uh you know a trip to the spa or you know those right. things that last quickly with the family the loved yeah, with ones the family th th those matter more and more you know, that's the big thing that's impressing me so far. And I am a resident of Northeastern Pennsylvania. And like I said, I've been there when they were the Red Barons, when they were the Yankees, when they were, you know, when you guys were redoing it for that one year. Um, and my wife and I have always loved to go just, you know, for, Thank you. for the game experience itself. Um, but what I've noticed that's much different uh, today, and it, I'm really impressed with it, is that it's not just players and ballpark goers. The ballpark goers, you, you actually have them become a part of and that is very out of the box, very important, I think, very, very well thought out. Well, well, thank you. The, uh, that's part of our, our plan is I don't believe that the Rail Riders are a baseball team, if that, if that makes no sense. But I, anticipate, I believe the Rail Riders are an entertainment value, are an entertainment destination. Think the movies that mm -hmm. no matter if you are a baseball fan or not, that our entertainment of bringing your family, someone like Terry, who's not a baseball fan, who can bring her, uh, bring her family out and enjoy the game, whether you're watching a single pitch or you're keeping score in the front row. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that we offer that for both because uh, there's so much for families to do from the family fun zone, you can walk all the way around. There's different areas for different people. There's uh, areas for kids. 
There's a, a, a bar, the Budweiser Railhouse in Wright Field, uh, that is, you know, for, for adults. You can go over, you can watch it from the outfield looking in. Uh, there's the uh, Honda Homer Zone, which is in, in, in Wright Field, that you can just go out and, and, and have fun. Kids roll down the hill. Uh, <laughs> you know, they're just having a blast. They have no idea what's going on during the game. Mm-hmm. But... Um, they 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 just have they just have fun, and uh, I'll give you some crazy minor league baseball statistics, right? So, oh, but let me back up. In minor league baseball, we do not control the players. The players are controlled by the New York Yankees. The Yankees pay their salaries. The Yankees pay the coaches. The Yankees pay the trainers. The Yankees pay anything that revolves around the players, the coaches, and the training staff. What we take care of is the ability uh, for them to come out and play. But the Yankees obviously have control of who goes up, who goes down, uh, who's cut, who's released, all that good stuff. So, in short, I say that we control everything at PNC Field except two things. The weather and the players. <laughs> I'll go and I'll disagree with you on the weather. <laughs> I did guarantee it once. Uh, so, we don't control those two things, but we control everything else. So, when you look at minor league baseball fans and home, there's 160 minor league baseball teams across the nation. When a minor league patron walks out of the ballpark and you ask them, what was the final score of the game? (laughs) Three quarters have no clue. Wow. 75% can't tell you what the final score of the game was. They can't. They have no idea because they're not there. What that tells you, they're not there for the baseball. Right. What they are there, 100%, guarantee 100%, know if they had fun or not so if they had a good time then i know that we did a good job whether we win lose or draw we'll never draw it's baseball Uh, (laughs) whether we win or lose uh all i'm looking for is if they had a good time and uh the more people we can have having a good time the better the more often that they'll come back and uh you know the more the merrier we need to take a quick break when we come back more with uh, Rob Crane with the uh, Scramble Spray Rail Riders, which, by the way, you can hear every one of their games over on our sister station at uh, NEPA Sports Radio The Game. This is Make a Change with your host, Terry Martin. I am Tom Jenkins, and we'll be right back on 94.3 FM, The Talker. Madari Clinicals, a unique skincare company, has a complete skincare line for men and women. From anti-aging to glycolic and even a clinical line for sensitive skin, Madari Clinicals is for you. Their number one product? Forgiveness. It's the secret to younger looking and younger acting skin. You can experience the transformation with fewer wrinkles, firmer skin, and a more youthful, radiant complexion. Treat aging, sun damage, rosacea, and more with forgiveness. Plus, buy one bottle of forgiveness, get one lip enhancing complex for free. Forgiveness. Apply it morning and night and keep forgiving and forgetting all through the day. Make a change with Madari Clinicals. Balance. Restore. Look and feel new. Madari Clinicals, a complete skincare company for men and women. Call 866 646 3374 or check out madariclinicals.com. M E D E R I clinicals.com. Welcome back to Make a Change 943 FM The Talker. I'm Terry Martin, your host, and Tom Jenkins, my producer. Before the break, we were talking about making memories. And one thing that I really feel strong about is, especially for women, and and maybe even men who don't think they care so much about baseball, if you take your child, your grandchild, or a neighborhood child, that's what it's all about. I think if if you just go knowing that you're going to give someone else a good time, you, you might get into it anyway. But I found that when I went, it was it was just wonderful because you just sit there and you just laugh and have a good time. You're breathing in that fresh air and the sunshine's coming down most of the time if it's not raining. <laughs> there, Doesn't then, rain at PNC Field. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was also reading that you have something for Little League teams that they can go out in the field. I'd like to know more about that. Yeah, the Little League te- It's called Field of Dreams. And if I was in Little League or youth baseball, this would be like the most incredible thing ever. Or softball. I think it would be. Uh, You get to take the field with the players. When we sing the National Anthem. With the players? With the players. So that when they go out to their position, the little kids run out to their position as well. 
They'll never forget that. And they'll never forget it. And then they put their hand over their heart, and then they sing the national anthem. Kids are right next to. We got great pictures last year when Derek Jeter and A Rod and Curtis Granderson were there. We had Field of Dreams players, and kids are standing right there, right next to Derek Jeter, and uh, it was the coolest thing ever. So uh, you know, these, these little kids have that, and as we as we said, we begin to make memories for the for these kids and the, all the parents with the got their cameras out and they're taking pictures of it and. Uh, it's really cool. Well, I, the reason I'm so excited is I have a grandson that is in the Little League yeah. now, and he loves it so much that even when there's important parties in the family going on, my son doesn't want to take him away from the game because he loves it so much he doesn't want to miss it. So how, not only his team, how do any other Little League whatever they are they coaches whatever they're yeah. called, I don't know. <laughs> but how did they find out about doing that? They just call us, 969 ball uh, nine, that's six, easy to remember nine six nine ball and uh we'll take care of it. is there a charge for that no they just get their tickets and uh it's, it's i know one team that's going to be signing up right away see there you go it's uh they just buy their tickets and uh they let us know that they want to do the field of dreams at night and we do it but there's no charge oh that's wonderful there's no charge how are the the players with the with the families and the kids? They love it because you know we're a Triple A and they've been at the lower levels, you know, single A and uh, low A, high A, double A, and all of the different levels do this. And uh, so this is old hat to them. So mm-hmm. uh, a lot of them get a kick out of it, and uh, you know they just like having the kids out here. And a, a lot of the players at the Triple A level are parents. Uh, you know they're in either in their late twenties, early thirties. And uh, a lot of them have kids, so to see other kids out there is kind of cool for them. When the children are out there, this is really asking a lot, but are there photographers or anything that they can have these memories to keep forever if they wanted to? They, the parents usually stay on the, Just the warning track it. or stay, they, they, uh, stay on the warning track right there, and then they take pictures of their kids out in the outfield. Uh, when, when you talked even about the community... I didn't. I didn't write a lot about that. We are talking about the community, but is there anything that you want to go over with that? Because you know, what the, I'm trying to come from is, we t- you know, we hear all the problems in the world, and I say this pretty often on the on the shows. When we have such big problems, and we have our towns, that's where we need to get back. You know, all I can think of is baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, yeah. you know. And Chevrolet. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, that's part of a song. Yes, uh, it is. Uh, yeah. So the community, that's probably my biggest area that I wanted to improve when we got here. Uh, when I say we got here in July of 2012. When I got here, the team gave back about... Thirty thirty five thousand dollars back to the community uh, in cash and in kind donations. When I got here, it just wasn't good enough, and uh, we implemented some new programs. Uh, one is called Community Organization of, of the Night, presented by uh, De Petros Pharmacy. And what we do is we have a different non uh, profit agency. Anyone, you know, all the different nonprofits, five hundred one c threes of northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, come out. They have a table at the game. They're able to throw out a ceremonial first pitch. They're interviewed live on the uh, uh, on the field, and then we take them into the radio, interview them live on the game, sister station of the talker, and uh, they're able to say all the great things that their nonprofit does. There's so many great nonprofits in the area. We just want to provide a, a marketing vehicle for them so that they can go tell more people about what they do, get more people involved in the That's it. We just don't walks know. Walks and the runs and, you know, let's educate the folks. And uh, when we released that program going into the 2013 season, uh, we filled our 72 dates in uh, six days. And uh, this year, it took less time than that uh, when, when we filled it up. Uh, we also highlight a different military person. Uh, that was year. one of my questions. We, uh, we do that every single game. Uh, there's 72 of them. Uh, we interview them. Tell us about your, uh, your story when you were uh, in the military or if they're currently in the military. Uh, they throw out a ceremonial first pitch. Uh, it's, it's spectacular. Uh, this year, we did a, uh, it's called the Fit Track Program. Uh, we had over 11,000 kids uh, in area schools 
make a commitment to get healthy. So we gave them all jump ropes. We put a program together oh, in the it. schools where uh, where they can uh, uh, you know eat healthy, where they can uh, get some physical activity, and then we. Uh, highlighted those kids uh, at the ballpark, provided them free tickets for all the kids that uh, made it through the program. And uh, we had just an absolute blast doing it. And in 2000, uh, on another program that we do, we were talking about Little Leagues, right? Mm -hmm. We're in the middle of a program called Adopt a Field, where we take four Little League fields, uh, well, actually two Little League fields, a softball field, and a full-size field. And we take our head groundskeeper, assistant groundskeeper, and our staff. Oh, boy. And this is good. And we go out, and their field's in shambles. Yes. And we totally redo it, uh, where wow. it's it'll be just like PNC Field uh, by the time that we get done with it in the day. And uh, How do you decide what fields, what do you, do they send in pictures of their fields? They send field? pictures to us, and then what we do is we put them on Facebook, and we have people vote for them. Oh, and uh, people can vote who wants to to uh, who thinks that this the, who thinks what field needs the, the most help, and uh, we've done that this year. Uh, we've done one of them already, uh, the Abington Heights um, uh, big field, their their main baseball field, uh, got a uh, renovation. Uh, that was uh, two, three weeks ago. Uh, we're going to one a week from Thursday. It's a little league field uh, where I it's the it's just escaping me. I apologize. Uh, and then we've got two more that we're going to do, and uh, we're really excited about that. So what this equals, as I said before, that our team gave about thirty thousand dollars in cash and in kind donations. Uh, we almost we gave almost a quarter of a million. Uh, in cash and in kind donations in 2013. Uh, so much so that uh, we won an award uh, from the Scranton Chamber of Commerce for uh, best practices and in community involvement. And uh, when we got that, there wasn't an award that I was more proud of than that one. Uh, it took our entire staff. And if you add up our staff uh, volunteer hours, each staff member volunteered uh, almost it's like 38 hours. They they volunteered almost 40 hours, which would be an entire work week mm -hmm. uh, during the year. So I thought that was very impressive of our staff. And uh, like we said earlier in the show, um, our staff is, is wonderful. And uh, without the collaboration, the hard work from them, none of this stuff happens. So uh, when you talk about community, I feel like I could go on for days uh, about it because it's so important to what we do. Uh, we've got to be engaged in our community. We've got to be intertwined in everything that's going on. Um, and it's uh, it's a lot bigger than just Lackawanna and Luzerne counties. You know, it goes that's all, what I'm thinking. It goes all the way uh, all to the to the counties. It's, it it really is entire northeastern Pennsylvania, and uh, we take pride in that. And uh, we want to continue to grow our footprint. And uh, you know, it's it's just when we get into the community side of it, it's probably the most rewarding thing we do. Well, I'm anxious to try to get <laughs> up in Wyoming County, Susquehanna County, because we do hear a lot because you're down here in Lackawanna, so it would be nice. But because I'm up there, too, uh, I just don't hear a lot about it. And I, I, I will definitely be contacting Please. some of these little league, because now I'm excited because I have a reason. See, there and, you go. It's fun. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to know, when you talk about uh, the... Oh, the group meetings? Yeah. When I looked online, I saw, I, I don't know if I can actually say, different businesses. So I, I won't give their names. Uh -huh. But it says on there that they can sell, you can buy tickets. And some might be 7 or $8. Are they only talking to their people that they got that group for? Or are any of them open? And if you want to go to theirs, you can go. No, we have some uh, naming rights. So... Uh, Coast, you, it has the that, Coast that Tire Auto uh, uh, yeah. uh, Picnic Pavilion in, in left field. And uh, no, this is this is for anybody. They just have the naming rights uh, to that area of the ballpark, kind of like PNC has, PNC Bank has the naming rights to the entire ballpark. We broke up into smaller naming rights areas, so there's the Coast Pavilion in left field. Anyone can have a picnic uh, in the Coast Pavilion in left field. It's a, it's a wonderful space to watch a game. And uh, for 29 bucks, you can come in, and uh, it's all you can eat, and you get your game ticket to the game. Uh, there's not much that you can beat from that. 
Well, I'm glad to know that because in my understanding, it was, oh, must be they have a lot of people, you know, at Coast and it's it's not really for the public. So I'm glad to know oh, that. Oh, no, it's absolutely for the public. Anyone and anyone can uh, can come to a game. We, uh, I, I want us to be the most inclusive uh, public space in, uh, in, in northeastern Pennsylvania. So uh, come on down. We'll, we'll take great care of you. Oh, we... I guess we talked a little bit, or did we, about fundraising, or how can? No, we didn't really talk okay. about fundraising well, so much. So fundraising is fun. You know how you <laughs> fundraising grand, is fun. yeah. See, <laughs> um, you have your grandkids, and uh, I'm sure they've sold uh, chocolate bars or mm-hmm. you know the different coupon books or whatever it is. So we have something too, and what's more fun than baseball tickets? So we sell you uh, tickets at five bucks, and then you guys can sell them uh, up to face value, and then you guys keep all of the, and then the fundraising person keeps all the money on top of it. And uh, it's a lot easier to sell uh, baseball tickets than it is uh, coupon books. Oh, I would think. Yeah. So uh, it works nothing against our coupon book friends out there, but- uh, <laughs> no. yeah. Uh, but, well, you no, know. the only problem with that is you, we want to support any of the children that are selling. But then, like myself, those books go in a drawer. And unfortunately, I forget that yeah. they're there until they're outdated. You know, exactly. They're very good if you use them. Yeah, and, they're and very good of, if you use them. And how many of those coupons are actually <laughs> local? You know, like yes. the local, just like you know, the rail riders are local. You know, so we keep it all right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Yeah, we, we're able to do it. So we have a lot of different groups. Uh, that come out and, and do that, and they raise a, a bunch of money. And the more tickets you sell, the more money you make, and uh, everybody gets something out of it because you're able to create the memories, go to the ballpark, have fun, and uh, enjoy yourself. So it's a blast. One thing I might be a little confused on, too, is when you were at the Lions Club meeting, and we were very excited because we talked about the possibility of running one of the concession stands, and then the money from some of the money, I'm not yep. quite sure how that works, is that something that you yeah they can work right our, how our concessions work is we partner with a third party vendor called legends uh legends concession legends hospitality and legends handles all of the food and beverage in the ballpark so uh they contact legends you can call the same number 969 ball uh ask for rich he's the uh he's the guy who runs legends and if you've got a group that wants to uh, work a concession stand to raise some funds. Uh, you absolutely uh, have the ability to call. Uh, Rich has all that information, and uh, he'd be happy to do it. And uh, we're able to uh, we're able to make those accommodations. Nine six nine ball. That's the number. With any questions about anything, it is the greatest baseball phone number <laughs> it ever. Really is. Nine six nine ball. <laughs> ball. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Or you can also check out the website, which is swbrailriders.com. I'm going to take another quick break. When we come back, more with Rob Crane. Uh, this is Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker, with Terry Martin, and I am Tom Jenkins, and we'll be right back. Madari Clinicals, a unique skincare company, has a complete skincare line for men and women. From anti-aging to glycolic and even a clinical line for sensitive skin, Madari Clinicals is for you. Their number one product? Forgiveness. It's the secret to younger looking and younger acting skin. You can experience the transformation with fewer wrinkles, firmer skin, and a more youthful, radiant complexion. Treat aging, sun damage, rosacea, and more with forgiveness. Plus, buy one bottle of forgiveness, get one lip-enhancing complex for free. Forgiveness. Apply it morning and night and keep forgiving and forgetting all through the day. Make a change with Madari Clinicals. Balance. Restore. Look and feel new. Madari Clinicals, a complete skincare company for men and women. Call 866-646-3374 or check out MadariClinicals.com. M-E-D-E-R-I Clinicals.com. Welcome back to Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker. I am Tom Jenkins, along with your host, Terry Martin, and, uh, and our special guest today, Rob Crane, from the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders. And, you know, the show is Make a Change. We always talk about, in every aspect of your life, how you can make a change, whether it be financially, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, and, and we did have a show a while back with uh, Lou Jasikoff talking more about the family and, uh, and we thought it would be a great idea to get Rob Crane in here from the Rail Riders to talk more about that family change, you know, bring it back. And, and the change, which the show kind of took a change halfway through, the, the change that, that 
the real riders are making in the community, which uh, I, I had no idea you guys did all of that stuff for the community. I mean, that no, is I'm fantastic. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. It's, uh, you know, you were talking about change, and I feel like last year, going in front to the 2013 season, uh, there's been no, there's been so much change uh, that we really kind of flipped the script of what minor league baseball was in 2000, the years prior to what it was going to be uh, in in future years. So, uh, you know, obviously the ballpark was the biggest one. $43.3 million uh, complete teardown and reconstruction uh, of, of the ballpark. Uh, you know, and it won, the, one of the awards that we won last year uh, was Ballpark Digest. It was kind of like, Ballpark Digest is like our industry publication. And it named PNC Field uh, best ballpark in all of baseball last year. Right here in Scranton, looks better. How yeah. fantastic! Right for us. there, right there on Montage Mountain, and uh, it was it, it, it's incredible awards that you got. But not only did we change the ballpark, obviously it's everything's uh, reconstructed. The only three things that we kept in construction was the field, the home clubhouse, but that still got a half a million dollar makeover. And the concrete seating bowl, which was totally uh, uh, redone, a coating put on top of it, new seats, new everything. But those mm. are the only three three structural things that stood. Everything else was built around it. So it totally was a reconstructed ballpark. Someone says, uh, oh, you renovated PNC Field. Oh, no, you renovate your bathroom. We reconstructed <laughs> wow. it. Uh, we rebuilt it. Uh, yeah, we yeah. rebuilt uh, a ballpark. So uh, we were able to do that. Uh, but not only was it the physical, but I also believe it was the, we'll call it the mental side of what minor league baseball was. Um, I wasn't here prior, but all I can tell is uh, going forward, we wanted to ensure that not only in 2013, but obviously here in 2014, that minor league baseball was an entertainment destination, is that it was more than just uh, baseball. And it becomes through some philosophies that we have. Uh, you'll never see an advertisement for us in the sports page of the newspaper. We feel that the sports fans in the area, the baseball fans in the area, uh, will read our section of the newspaper that has the game recap story and the diehard baseball fan. They know when we're playing. They probably know more about the players and the coaches and the opposing teams than I do. But who we're trying to get are folks like Terry, who aren't current uh, baseball fans, who see the sports page of the newspaper and put it over to the side <laughs> and they're reading uh, whether it's the lifestyle section of it or it's the people section of it or uh, it's the other things like that is those are the people that we need to communicate with our advertisements that those are the people that we need to tell about uh, t-shirt Tuesday where you get a free t-shirt when you walk into the ballpark kids eat free thirsty Thursday fireworks giveaways family fun days on Sundays uh, you know we need to really change the way that we did uh, our marketing and really create a different mental picture for the fan, for the consumer, that PNC Field is not just baseball, that PNC Field's an experience, PNC Field's an entertainment destination, PNC Field is what I'll call and what I have called uh, the front porch of our community. You've got family members from in from out of town, you've got friends coming in from out of town, what do we do on a nice summer night. We're we so go, fortunate. We go to PNC We don't Field. even know. We just didn't. I didn't know. And I think many people do not know. Sorry to butt in there. Oh, but no. That was amazing to me. All these changes that you've made um, with PNC Field, you know, with, with the... Uh, I guess you can call it the mission statement, you know, of, of baseball in Northeastern Pennsylvania. I'm sure there were a lot of hurdles you had to jump, a lot of speed bumps you had to go over, a lot of walls you smashed right into. Yeah. How, what can, can you share some of those and how you more or less worked through it and made the changes that needed to be made? Well, the th good thing is I didn't know any better. Uh, <laughs> okay, ignorance <laughs> is bliss. Yeah, <laughs> ignorance is kind of bliss. Is uh, I knew one way to run a minor league team. I had a wonderful mentor. His name was Marty Cordero. He's the president and general manager in Omaha, Nebraska, and he was with me through all my stops, learned everything I know. So I always say, if you don't like what I do, blame Marty. <laughs> <laughs> he taught me everything. Um, so I, I wasn't from the area. 
uh, it was my first time. So I basically said, guys, this is what we're going to do. Uh, this will work. And I got some uh, looks from some different people like, what are you doing? But I also got some, hey, we're going to be doing giveaways again. You know, people cheering, saying, you know, there was, I guess there wasn't give, there wasn't giveaways for a long time. Uh, that we're going to be doing giveaways every Saturday. And uh, uh, we, we're going to be doing more between inning promotions, more things on the video board, more of those kinds of things. And uh, we got a lot of, okay, prove it to me that things have changed because, you know, People want to people want to ensure that what you say you're going to back it up. So I consider 2013 our prove it year. Is that we had a good year and uh, we we did everything that we said that we were going to do. And in 14, uh, I guess it's prove it again. Is that it wasn't a one year thing. Is this is what we're going to do, and uh, that's what we're doing this year. Uh, we've got it's our 25th anniversary if you can imagine that baseball been been here since 1989 so mm-hmm. we're having uh, if you go around the ballpark there's pictures of of, uh, of old players uh, we did a nice balloon release on opening day with all of our season ticket holders uh, that have been with us since 1989 and uh, and we're going to be having a big celebration on uh, on June the 7th uh, regarding uh, you know uh, our, our our anniversary and uh, you know we're proving it again. We're doing 25 giveaways this year. We've got 13 different fireworks shows, from kids eat free on Wednesdays to family fun day Sundays. Kids get to run the bases at the end of the game on uh, mm. uh, on uh, family fun day Sundays. And uh, there's a different promotion every single night. Is uh, I don't consider us to have 72 baseball games. I consider us to have 72 events. And each event right. is special. Each event is different. Each event uh, is something uh, is worth the uh, seven dollars to to come out and uh, and enjoy uh, a night out at the at the ballpark. So uh, I think changing from those type of I guess it's a philosophical difference mm-hmm. uh, going from what they had in 2011 to what we have now in 2000 uh, what we in 13 what we did and now what we're continuing to do uh this beginning part of 2014 so you're not from around here i'm not you show up and now you've been here for a couple of years what have you learned the people in northeastern pennsylvania are phenomenal um i have been welcomed with open arms everywhere that i have have gone um People call me Mr. Crane, and I was like, where's my dad? And and, uh, uh, they just have such great – they have great passion for their uh, their team. They have great passion for the area. Uh, The people have just been phenomenal, really have welcomed my wife Amy and I into the community with open arms. Uh, It's just been – uh, a very smooth transition and uh we love it here uh you know and uh, we bought a house here we plan on being here for the long haul uh it's it's been it's just been it's been really good the first two years have just been fantastic and we're very uh we feel very appreciative nice you're doing a good job well thanks got a great staff now a lot of people don't know this i did not know this when we were taking a break Rob had mentioned this to us that uh, PNC Field is not just for baseball or the events. No, is uh, last year we did over 150 different events at the ballpark other than Rail Riders games. Um, we had events uh, small as you know, ten people, uh, but we also had uh, a Friedman Electric trade show that was thousands of people uh, that used the entire ballpark. Uh, we had breakfast with Santa up in our uh, Mohegan Sun Club, and uh, w- everything different things uh, from that. So we've got uh, we hosted last year and this year uh, we've hosted the uh, Division Three. Mid Atlantic Baseball Regional, where they played 15 games. Uh, we've also hosted the uh, PIAA District Two Finals, uh, which is four more games at the ballpark, and uh, we continue to to grow that. Uh, in 2013, we hosted I call it the mother of all special events, where we had the office rap party uh, at oh, the ballpark. Wow. The uh, the TV show, The Office, wrapped up uh, at the ballpark, and that was just insane. Uh, Steve Carell was there, and mm-hmm. Rain Wilson, and just the, the whole crew was there. And uh, that was just phenomenal. Uh, we actually won the minor league baseball Oscar, if you will. It's called the <laughs> Golden Bobblehead. <laughs> and uh, we won a Golden Bobblehead not only for best uh, non-game day event, 
but also for best overall promotion because uh, the office was there and uh, that was just uh, that was spectacular and uh, it was it was a lot of fun uh, and we want to continue to do that uh, and we host different businesses um, where they have uh, events in the uh, most likely in the Mohegan Sun Club. We're out in the ballpark. Uh, we're hosting a, a chamber dinner. The Pittston area chamber annual dinner is going to be at the ballpark. Uh, and there's a lot of different things that we do that u- utilize our space. And uh, we're set up for everything. So uh, it's it's really, really, uh, it's cool. It's neat. It's different. We're educating uh, the business uh, area the business community about that hey when you're thinking about having a, a special event you're thinking about having a meeting what's better than having a meeting and looking out at the ballpark uh, and we're open 365 days a year so um, you know last year when we were talking with breakfast with Santa uh, we had 400 kids there and uh, it snowed four inches so it was uh, it was just a lot of fun and uh, we, you know, we want to continue to do that. Is that PNC? We want to create the atmosphere that PNC Field's never closed, and uh, mm-hmm. we're here for for everybody, every sector of the community. And uh, you know, we want to, no matter what, if you're having a business meeting, you're going to a Rail Riders game, you're going to the PIAA District Two Finals, you're going to a college baseball game. Is that PNC Field is where you have fun, and uh, that's if they say I had fun at PNC Field job done so if you'd like to get involved with this or or think that maybe your event you'd like to have at pnc field of course the number uh, it's easy to remember 969 ball 969 ball and uh, and see if they can i'm sure they can accommodate you no matter what it is we'll accommodate you we'll figure it out (laughs) we'll absolutely figure it out we're gonna take one more quick break and when we come back we're gonna wrap it up with rob crane scram wilkesbury rail riders this is make a change on 94.3 fm the talker with your host terry martin and i am tom jenkins we'll be right back Madari Clinicals, a unique skincare company, has a complete skincare line for men and women. From anti aging to glycolic and even a clinical line for sensitive skin, Madari Clinicals is for you. Their number one product? Forgiveness. It's the secret to younger looking and younger acting skin. You can experience the transformation with fewer wrinkles, firmer skin, and a more youthful, radiant complexion. Treat aging, sun damage, rosacea, and more with forgiveness. Plus, buy one bottle of forgiveness, get one lip enhancing complex for free. Forgiveness. Apply it morning and night and keep forgiving and forgetting all through the day. Make a change with Madari Clinicals. Balance, restore, look, and feel new. Madari Clinicals, a complete skincare company for men and women. Call 866 646 3374 or check out madariclinicals.com. M E D E R I clinicals.com. And we're back on Make a Change on 94.3 FM The Talker. I'm Tom Jenkins along with your host, Terry Martin. And we're speaking with Rob Crane today from the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders. And uh, the three, his three favorite F words <laughs> <laughs> family, friendly, fun, and affordable. And I try to bring it around. It was really corny, but no, it was good. <laughs> but, but it really is, I mean, it, PNC Field, these events, the ball games, the the family fun, the the just everything. It really is affordable, and that's what's so difficult sometimes and nowadays. You know, you want to go on and have a nice night with the family. And just going to the movies costs you. You know, you have to take out a second mortgage. Oh yeah, but but going to PNC Field, it really is affordable in all aspects. Yeah, we did a. There's a survey going around the different minor league teams, and uh, you know, what's the what's the cost to, to get in. Uh, and the cost to get in, parking, programs, tickets, uh, beer, hot dog, soda, all of that stuff. Uh, and the AAA average is $62, which is still very, which is very affordable. To get into a scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders game, four tickets, two beers, four hot dogs, two sodas, parking, program, uh, all of that with your, like I said, including in your tickets, family of four is an even 50 bucks. Fifty dollars to get in, family of four, and that includes uh, not just the tickets or just you know it includes everything, and that's on a non-discount at night. So if you come on Wednesdays, uh, your two kids they're eating free, uh, so you take that out. Uh, if you come on Thursdays, those beers and sodas are a buck. If you come on Mondays, the hot dogs are a dollar. Uh, so there's always a different affordable is 
our one of our key uh, key metrics is um, no matter no matter what we've got to be affordable. We've got to be where uh, the person uh, with a with a with a lower income and the person with a higher income they all can come together because we're the community's team. We're just not uh, one sector of the community's team. We're 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 the entire area's team, and uh, we want folks to come in and we want folks to have fun. And we want folks to be able to uh, afford a hot dog, chips, and a soda, or hot dog, chips, and a beer, hot dog, fries, or whatever it is. Uh, We want people to be able to afford uh, to come to the ballpark. And uh, with tickets that start at 7, and the most expensive ticket, the most expensive ticket to buy and walk up when you go to the game is 12 bucks. So we're not talking, we're not breaking the bank here, Uh, you know, and that's very important to our our business model is uh, we want people to come up and we want people to be able to purchase tickets. And if you get a ticket package, those prices are cheaper. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's part of our community philosophy. It's part of our affordable philosophy. It's, uh, It's part of how we do business. What I think is cool about it is movies are good, and that's great in the wintertime when you can't go to the baseball games. But when you go to the movies, you cannot sit and talk to your spouse or your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your children. But at a game, there's hours you're sitting in, and you're really building a relationship through exactly. that. So I just see so many and with you advantages. And, and with you and uh, business, Terry, is when you bring clients out or prospective clients, you got a three-hour business meeting you know, a nice summer night where you're uh, just watching the game and 99% of the discussions about uh, kids and family and other things other than baseball and the 1% that you talk business, uh, it'll be an important 1%. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, all the other stuff matters uh, probably more than that 1% of business that you talk. But it's a perfect uh, opportunity to, to have that discussion because it's in a re- relaxed atmosphere uh, no, there's no pressure, not in the stuffy board meeting with the mm-hmm. shirts and ties and anything like that. You know, relax. It's a baseball game. So no more meetings on the golf course. We're getting rid of that. No more golf <laughs> meetings. PNC Field, <laughs> Real Riders games. That's your new business meeting there, location. There it is. There it is. When you're talking about business meetings, we were talking earlier about breaking habits of the meetings and changing it, which, which I mean... Instead of always thinking that we have to go to a hotel, there's a conference center there, there's all the hotel food. Well, you have that, and on top, and, and sometimes hotels do not have good parking. It's it's a fight to even get a parking spot. But we can go there, have a business meeting, and more parking than you could imagine. Because I believe you said you had a trade show there, even that was yeah. like seven thousand people. Yeah, there was a ton of people there. I don't it? think we realize in our area what we have to offer it never occurred to me yeah we 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 uh we host all those type of ones and uh when it comes to those types of meetings we take pride in and we've got an incredible uh food facility uh, hospitality and catering facility that uh, you can get gourmet food or you can get you know we've got a lot more than hot dogs and burgers uh we've, we've got we can do anything uh from uh waitress served appetizers and you can do the whole thing and we've wow. got banquet furniture we've got everything to take care of that and uh what we're doing is this is an education process and it doesn't happen overnight is uh and uh, I appreciate the ability to educate the people on your on your show, uh, and we have the Thank ability you. to do that, and we have the ability to customize, and we have the ability uh, to to make events special. And, uh, and s- you know, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, you know, I said that we don't do 72 baseball games; we do 72 uh, uh, events. Uh, we're an event company. We're an event. Uh, we're an event facility, so whether it's during Rail Riders games or it's in November, uh, we have the ability to to do that. Well, I know we're running out of time, but we also did talk about special events for handicap. Yeah, and maybe you could explain that a little more. Yeah, well, uh, for kids with disabilities or patrons with disabilities, uh, we have a wonderful uh, areas of our ballpark where they can watch the games. They can, you know, with their wheelchairs, they can be able to get in there. And we also have done some uh, special events. One that comes to mind happened just about uh, three or four weeks ago. It was on uh, Easter weekend, and uh, you know, you'll see Easter egg hunts all around the place, but there's not Easter egg hunts. For only with kids with disabilities. Uh, so we held one. 
and we held one in the ballpark and there was uh, over 200 kids that had disabilities uh we spread out I think it was 4,000 Easter eggs uh, from foul line to foul line in the outfield in the grass. It was such a cool picture uh, with all the different Easter eggs uh, spread out there. And the only people who could participate were uh, kids that had a disability and their family. So if they had uh, a brother and a sister and one kid had a disability, the other brother or sister had the opportunity to, to go and help uh, the person with a disability. And it was really special, you know. It was one of those things that almost brings a tear to your eye, mm -hmm. uh, you know, giving these kids because they're so thankful for it because they don't have those opportunities uh, every day. And to be able to provide that, as we talk about community, that's what we're here for. That's what we do. And uh, Rachel Mark is our community relations manager, and she does a spectacular job, an absolute wonderful job of organizing these events coming up with the ideas for them and uh, that one was hers rachel did all of that and she came to me and she goes do you think it's a good idea i was like yes do it run and uh she did and uh you know there's several hundred uh kids out there and uh it was really special it was really really special well, so are you and we're uh, really <laughs> grateful that you moved to our area and have brought so much fun to the family i appreciate the kind words thank you very much so You're much welcome. change, good change for the community, for the family, bringing the family back. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to my son is uh, three years old oh. and uh, we've been waiting, you know, I don't know if he's going to sit long enough to watch a ball game and even maybe not even in the inning. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think in a week or two, we're going to we're going to finally get him out. I, I got Bring a, him out. got a couple mm -hmm. tickets. We're going to go out and, you know, hopefully he'll <laughs> he'll get into it like his old man. But yeah, uh, there you go. But well, yeah. I'm bringing a whole little league somehow. I'm yeah. bringing that. Always have to team. outdo me. Always have to outdo oh. me. Don't you? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. Uh, uh, uh. Well, to start a three-year-old little league. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker. And uh, you know, we have we have guest Rob Crane on today from the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders. One more time to bring it around full circle. Let everybody know the philosophy and the change, the, the, the mindset with the Rail Riders, with PNC Field, and with Rob Crane. You know... Uh, our philosophy is just to be able to uh, an affordable, family-friendly, fun environment, uh, and we do that through baseball. Uh, you know, we play 72 games from April through the uh, through Labor Day, and uh, we just want people to come out and take a nine-inning vacation. There's so much hustle and bustle in the world. There's so much things that distract you. Uh, you know, our job is for you is to get you to come out and for you to forget about all that stuff. I'm whether ready. You, yeah, you're ready. I'm, I'm ready too. Down. And uh, whether you sit in your seats or you go walk uh, a lap, if you walk three laps, it's a mile. So if you need mm. to get your exercise in, uh, but that's what we're here for. It's just that you need to take your problems away, enjoy the time with uh, friends, family, kids, and just chill. And uh, that's what baseball is about that's what our entertainment is about it's all family friendly good bring back the good old fun. days and uh you know if you can't have dinner at the dinner table have it at the ballpark uh, we've got like uh we've got the ultimate uh dinner table for for families in the area so you know uh check out our website swbrailriders.com or call us 969 ball uh, our schedules online our, our schedules everywhere so uh check us out and uh i i promise you that we'll you'll you'll have a good time that you'll be one of those people and you walk out you have fun the answer is gonna be yes but you won't be able to tell you the score. I <laughs> have no idea what heck the score was. <laughs> That's awesome. Rob, thank you so much for coming in today. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Tom, uh, Terry, thank you. I, I am uh, very appreciative of the time uh, today, and I uh, had a blast talking. Thank you. And thank you for being here. And, 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 of course, not to, to boost your ego anymore, but thank you for everything that you've done with PNC Field and the Rail Riders. I thank my staff. I have an incredible staff. I uh, appreciate it greatly. They, they work They work very hard. I wish I could have all of them on the radio to say, to say that. We don't have enough microphones. We don't have enough. <laughs> Day. <laughs> 969ball SWBRealWriters.com. Of course, you can hear all of the games uh, on our sister station, NEPA Sports Radio, the game. This is Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker. I'm Tom Jenkins with your host, Terry Martin. And uh, hopefully we uh, educated you on how to make a little bit more of a change and get closer with family and community with Rob Crane today. Thanks for listening. Madari Clinicals, a unique skincare company, has a complete skincare line for men and women. From anti-aging to glycolic and even a clinical line for sensitive skin, Madari Clinicals is for you. Their number one product? Forgiveness. 
It's the secret to younger looking and younger acting skin. You can experience the transformation with fewer wrinkles, firmer skin, and a more youthful radiant complexion. Treat aging, sun damage, rosacea, and more with forgiveness. Plus, buy one bottle of forgiveness, get one lip enhancing complex for free. Forgiveness. Apply it morning and night and keep forgiving and forgetting all through the day. Make a change with Madari Clinicals. Balance, restore, look, and feel new. Madari Clinicals, a complete skincare company for men and women. Call 866 646 3374 or check out madariclinicals.com. M E D E R I clinicals.com. 